Hello, it's Mark, and instead of looking at my bobby head for a few seconds, I figured I'd just get a you know, background of the sky here. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm going to say a few things about uh, web application programming. Uh, I'll make it quick because I just made the video and somehow I screwed up the sound. Um, I'm not a video guy. What do you want? <laughs> uh, but if you're not interested in web application programming, now is your chance to uh, shut this baby down, close the, uh, the browser, uh, shrink the window, go outside and join the sun a little bit. Um, I just want to share a few things that I think I'm definitely onto something by matching up, um, you know, my interests and my passions with what I want to work on. And uh, you know, yesterday I put in about 17 hours, uh, mostly learning uh, with some web programming, and, uh, and I had some help. And uh, it was begrudging help, I think, but uh, I still got help out of the, some of the friend feed uh, guys. One of the uh, gentlemen, Benjamin, I'll, I'll have to put a link into his profile or something. You know, somehow say thanks. Besides that. Uh, he suffered through a lot of it, but um, it wasn't necessarily uh, their stuff. It was something else that they were using that I was trying to get a handle on. All right, so long story short, there's a crap load of programming languages out there for web application programming, and there's a lot of platforms for developing stuff. And what they had was, um, you know, FriendFeed has a new API that just came out, and what is that? It's a application protocol interface. It's how they, how you can speak to FriendFeed, get their data, and send them information. Uh, one of the cool things I learned about was authorization, something called OAuth, and uh, I think I can use that same thing for Facebook and Twitter, which is great because I want to be able to get into, you know, whatever social media uh, people want to link to. And um, the thing I spent a lot of time with yesterday was the Google Application Engine. So, what the hell is it, right? They have um, this, this domain name. I don't even know what it was off the top of my head, but I have a couple of them set up now. And you can upload your your code. Uh, they initially put it out for Python, programming language, and they just released the Java one, and which is good for me because I know a little bit of PHP from a few weeks ago, and that's the first thing I learned. And uh, although they don't support PHP on the Google application engine, blah, 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 they have something called Quirkus uh, that a guy was able to uh, throw up there and on the web and show people how to use their PHP. So I got that working yesterday, which was cool. Um, and I just wanted to say a couple of things. I mean, this is, you really want to have high level programming that so you're not bogged down in the bits, the bytes, the, you know, the nitty gritty details. But you, you sort of want to know about the, what's the information going in? Um, what are the high level things happening at different points in the, in the coding? Um, you don't want to cause bottlenecks because of your ignorance. But um, you know, as far as development goes, you want to get past all this stuff quick so you can get to the good stuff, which is uh, you know, providing functionality that users don't normally have that makes their life easier. Uh, whether they be businesses or just the people that are interested in doing stuff. Um, anyway, that's, um, that was kind of uh, what yesterday was like. And uh, I'll show you what, you know, yesterday was horrible and rainy, but today is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see anything or if it's blinded. This is uh, Long Island, New York, and it's just a great day in the summer. Thanks for listening. Bye.